Hi everybody, it's Jay with reviews of mobile games from Mob.org. Let's go! The best known soccer or football to the rest of the world simulator today is the FIFA series. And as everything quite popular, it has a heap of imitators. Our patient today is a free alternative to FIFA. Let's meet Dream League Soccer. Graphically, the game reminds me of, well, pretty much any other football simulator. That makes sense. I have to tell you though, the graphics here aren't the most impressive, but quite decent overall. The football players all have different bases, and shadows from spotlights dynamically change. However, cutscenes with the audience are not shown to us. Probably developers couldn't draw the crowd adequately and decided to use other methods. That in general is good, sometimes less is more after all. The physical engine is also quite good. When we speak about free soccer games, I always remember dozens of videos on YouTube in which the laws of physics cease to exist, and players fall through the ground, writhe in strange poses, and so on. By the way, FIFA has been guilty of such things as well, but during the time that I was playing, nothing out of the ordinary happened, though I might just be lucky. At the beginning of the game, you receive a message that it's time to gather your team. Then you select the team captain from a quite a big list of real-life players. The point of the game is certainly to win a match by scoring more goals than your opponent. And this leads us to the control system. In the left part of the screen, there's a joystick, which we use to send a player to the necessary side. And on the right side, three buttons, A, B, and C which are responsible for kicking the ball and players of the enemy team. Hey, ow! Referee! Well, A is a strong kick for distance, B a short kick, and C for arcing your kick up, or at least differently than A or B would do. Special skills aren't required here because the bots in this game are rather stupid. By the way, there is a training mode. It can be individual, where you develop the skill of one player, and command. You can develop your defense, attack, handling, and so on. Naturally, all of this costs money, which of course you don't have at the beginning. And also, advertising. There is so much of it that it gets out even during the game and is super annoying. I totally get it that the game is free and they have to pay for it somehow, but it is just too much. Oh, by the way, if you go crazy and violate the rules too obviously, your player receives a red card and can be sidelined for some matches. You can get a dirty drop on an enemy, but you have to be careful about it. Well, what can I say about the game in general? It's not as rich or as fancy as FIFA, there are less opportunities and more defects, but in general it is still quite playable, so it's up to you. That's all for today, follow, like, and stick around with us. This was Jay with reviews from Mob.org. See you!